You know, um, long gone are the days when sports games drop classic after classic after classic. The last classic Madden was Madden 07 on PS2. That came out in, what is it, August 2006? The last classic NBA video game was probably NBA 2K16, NBA 2K17. The last classic NHL game, good Lord, who knows? And when it came to wrestling, when you ask people, what are the greatest wrestling games? They're going to say WWF No Mercy, WCW NWO Revenge, Here Comes the Pain, that type of thing. But when you look at when WWE goes to 2K, that seems to be when the downfall of the game started to happen. The glitches, I believe it was 2K20, was just like the most glitch, embarrassing, broken, trash, garbage, waste ever. Hit the like button. But when you get to WWE 2K22, this is when they've taken, I believe, a year off, a year and a half, something. They put, they put out WWE Playgrounds, which was a spin off of NBA Playgrounds, which is a trash, garbage, kitty, trash, crap, garbage waste. But they took the time, which is something Madden needs to do, take a year off and actually rebuild a game. No, can't do that. WWE 2K22, they changed the release date. Usually these games would always come out in October, November. I believe they released it in March, April, which seems to be the new time around WrestleMania. So they released the game, Rey Mysterio's on the cover, and I get the game, and I'm thinking, maybe maybe it'll be better, which never happens with, with sports games. Maybe the hype is real. Maybe it'll be better. I played 2K22, and immediately I said, wow. Now, I said wow because the 2K games have been trashed for years, or disappointments, and then there was word coming out that Basically, WWE was kind of threatening the developing team of you need to make a new game or we will leave you, fire everyone or just go to another company. So clearly they got the message. And when I first played 2K22, you could just notice, wow, OK, they must have went back and studied Here Comes the Pain and No Mercy and the SmackDown vs. Raw games because there was so much put into 2K22 that was not in the games for years, certain gameplay elements certain 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 little intricate details and i really enjoyed 2k22 at the beginning now i say at the beginning because they started to release patches and certain patches kind of felt like it kind of ruined the game like um a problem with 2k22 was it seemed like it took forever to win a match like every match minimum is eight minutes ten minutes it's like this is this is a video game I, I, I shouldn't, it should not take me this long to win a match. I remember playing, I would play on normal and it would take me 10, it would take me 10 minutes to win a match. I put it on legend and I won a match in three minutes. Okay. So how's the game harder on normal than on hard? What the hell? That was like, that was like, the, that was very odd. I don't understand that. I don't know if it was just me, but there seemed like there was like a glitch in the game where like you can't beat Biggie Langston. Big E was just like unstoppable. It don't matter what you did to him. You couldn't beat him. You know, the game also had an issue where you hit your finisher and they kick out. It's like, that, that's another thing that made the matches take so much longer. I'm beating this person down, beating this person down, beating this person down, but my bar is not filling up. They do two moves and now they have a finisher and a signature. So these are issues with the game, but... I think the game was much more positive than negative. I think 2K22, now now obviously 2K23 is out and you know things like that. But I think at the time 2K22, I think it had the greatest creative player mode ever for a wrestling game. Um, I think it had the, the community creations was at the all time high. I don't know what 2K23 is. I didn't buy 2K23. It just seemed not that different. Um, now one thing they seem to always mess up in wrestling games is the hair. Roman Reigns' hair looks ridiculous. You know, so, you know everything's not perfect, but I thought it was a very good game. Uh, you could fight in the crowd. 
Uh, one one issue, and I, I do not understand this. I never I do not understand why they took this out, why it's not available, why you can't do it. If you go and play, I think SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, if you play WWE 12, 13, 14, you could put the music in the game. Say you made a player or whatever, you can put the actual music on your hard drive and put it as your theme song. For some reason, in the PS4, PS5 series era of xbox you can't add music to it so it's so awkward you make someone and they have to come out to no music or someone else's song or a generic song that i i don't understand why like you have more technology now but you can't do something as simple as put your own theme songs that doesn't make any sense i'm not i'm not gonna do that crap of well when your purse is making an entrance, open up the Spotify app and then play their theme song and then close Spotify. And like, no, you shouldn't have to do all that work just to have a theme song. It's a video game. I don't want to work. Hit the like button, damn it. WWE 2K22, I thought the graphics are great. I, video games are at a point, you can't make better graphics. This is the peak of graphics. Literally, you'd have to have real people in, the, in, the, in your TV. The graphics are at its peak. The graphics are great. I think the gameplay was good. Um, one thing I hated was them changing the controls to me. I, I don't I don't understand this in, in sports games. They change the controls every few years. Why? Why why not keep the controls the same as they were on No Mercy or the same as Here Comes the Pain or, or WWE 13? Keep the controls the same. I didn't really like the whole like to reverse certain moves you had to like if someone punches you, you have to push X when the punch happens. Like, just keep reverse as one button. I didn't, I didn't really like that. Sometimes in WWE 13, you can't reverse anything. I, I, I hate that. You have a limit of reverses you can use in a match. Like, no, that's not even realistic. Like, I, I don't, I, I didn't like that. But I think this game has far more positive than negatives. I think WWE 2K22 is the best wrestling game since WWE 13. I thought 2K14 or... I thought that game was very overrated. Um, I think a lot of people like that game so much because they changed it completely by 15. It's kind of like NCAA 14 football. People love that game. That game is not good. It's trash. But people love it because it's the last college football game. If they made 15, 16, 17, if they kept making college football games to this day, people would not love 14. They only like it that much because it's the last one. 2K14, WWE is the same way. I did not like 2K14. Uh, I think it had a lot more glitches than 13 did. Um, it really wasn't that much different from 13, which is a negative. But 2K22, I think this is a very good game. I think it's one of the best wrestling games ever made. Um, it's not better than, you know, No Mercy or Here Comes the Pain. But it's, it's better it's better than all these games since WWE 13. I put it over. WWE 12, was that game was trash. That game had so many glitches. It's better than all the SmackDown vs. Rawls on 360. It's better than uh, the SmackDown vs. Raw's on PS2. Uh, I put WWE 2K22 right under No Mercy, right under SmackDown 2. I think it was much better than Just Bring It. I think it was much better than Shut Your Mouth. But it's, it's right under that level of Here Comes the Pain and Revenge. I think it's one of the best wrestling games. Um, 2K23, I didn't play it, but just from what I see, it doesn't seem that much different. The graphics, like I said, the graphics have reached their peak. You can't make the graphics better, I don't think. They did add the war games, but I don't really care. They did add, um, you know, you know, one one thing is kind of a negative. Actually, actually, you know what? There was a huge negative with 2K22, and that was, but th this is not the game people's fault. This is real life. This is where real life has its impact. If you play WWE 2K22, by the time the game came out, like 70% of the people in the game were fired, dead, <laughs> or or <laughs> they're working in AEW, like half the Raw. And, and if you don't watch current wrestling, you're not even going to know these people. You have to be watching NXT, like half the roster, more than half the roster is people you've never heard of unless you're a Mark Obsessive Wrestling. So I, I'm looking through the roster. I'm like, who is this? And it's, it's like... The problem with wrestling now is everyone's a little flippy cruiserweight. They don't look like men. Oh, God. Half the people now are, are, are males trying to be women. So that was a problem with the game. Is the, the roster is so weak. 
But you did have, you know, Samoa Joe. You did have, you know, you did have like legends like Rock and 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 I think they had like thirteen Undertakers. They had like seventy different Rey Mysterios. Jesus Christ! There was a million Rey Mysterios. Um. Also, speaking of Rey Mysterio, the the main story mode was the basically Rey Mysterio's career, which was a good story mode. You know, you got to they had a part where uh, you could play him versus Eddie Guerrero at Halloween Havoc '97, and they'd have clips playing, so that was good. He he was the showcase person. And that's that's another thing I never really cared about was the whole showcase mode. I, I really don't want to play John Cena's career. I really don't care. Um, but I think the Rey Mysterio mode was fun. Uh, also, in, in 2K22, the whole thing was, uh, you know, it was kind of... I, th I think 2K22 had the most realistic type of violence in a wrestling game. Like, when Brock Lesnar hit you or, or a giant, it really did feel like... It, it's kind of like they took, like, the, the striking kind of from, like, the UFC games where it felt like real. you're really getting hit so and, and just the, the 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 little details is what makes 2k22 a great game and those little details are things that a lot of sports games don't pay attention to so if i was grading 2k22 i'd probably give it uh hmm let's see let's see if this was gamestop i I probably give it probably a very strong probably an 8.8 8.9 out of 10 uh i think it's a, i think it's uh, pretty close to a must-have if you're a wrestling fan. It's 2K22. Now, 2K23, when they really drop the price, I'll probably waste my life and buy it. Also, another disappointment with 2K22 was the GM mode. You know, people for years and years and years, they won GM mode in. I think they took GM mode out in, what, SmackDown vs. Raw 09, I think. Never understood why. They put it back, but it was so limited. You couldn't do anything. The roster, like, you couldn't even have a roster. It's, it's like, what was the point of this? I think you have to start out in like a high school gym or something or some, or some, some, oh God, I don't know. It, it, it just, it was disappointing. They limited the matches. You could only have like eight people on your roster. Like, what the hell is this? I always, I always hated in the, the SmackDown vs. Raw games. You only had a limit of 20 people. Like, how can you have a show of 20 people? But, and then 2K23, I hear it's really not that much changed. But, um, this is a good game, even with the negatives. I did love, I did love in the game, the, um, I love how you could fight in the crowd. You could fight on the stage. You could, I love the community creations, which really helped because the, the roster is so weak. I ended up just downloading a bunch of WCW, WWF, ECW wrestlers and things like that, um, in the arenas. The, the, the creation ability in the game is just an A+. Plus. Arenas, wrestlers, logos, it's tremendous. Um, the blood in the game was very realistic. Um, I think 2K22 did the best of... There really was a difference between a giant and a, and a cruiserweight. When Samoa Joe or Brock Lesnar or Strowman hits you or, or Kane hits you, you could really... It, it was like a great impact. Um... Just a tremendous game. And uh, with that said, like, share, comment, subscribe. WWE 2K22, I guess, retrospective review.